speak a little bit about this beautiful bunting that we have over here. Yeah. It's something that you're seeing a lot? All the time. It's huge in weddings at the moment and we love it. It's so easy to make and it's fun. I just think it's such a cute it idea. It really doesn't cost much at all, which is, which is amazing. You can find odd pieces of fabric at home, ask an aunt, someone in your family who was a dressmaker, and then just put all your favorite um, prints together. Now, what if you can't sew? Um, you can then cut out your pattern, get some fabric glue, and then just stick it down. This that one, this one that we easy. have over here, you can see it was stuck down with some fabric glue. Oh, right. So there we go. Perfect. Yeah. And then you string it on. A you piece just get a piece of ribbon through it, and voila. And that's just a great way, I think, to add decoration and just your own personal touch once again to your wedding. It's um, like Tuchida said, choosing your own prints and fabrics that you really like. It's very um, budget friendly and pretty, I think. And it's not like you need to use a really expensive lace. No, not at all. Anything like I mean, that. you can if you want. You can even get cheaper um, laces in the fabric shop but yeah you this is very cheap cotton that you can find at any fabric shop so in fact I think online I saw somebody who'd done um, bunting with old doilies yeah probably from her exactly house there is still a like use that. for doilies yes. it's for bunting for bunting yeah <laughs> now you've got the sweetest looking bunting thingy yeah yes. over there I'm so not sure bunting what it is. is not just for decoration um in a, on, a, on a big scale um we have cute little bunting over here that we've put on um, skewers and we're going to actually pop it into a cupcake. So cupcakes could be really nice guest favor that they can take with them. Um, and you can just also make it really pretty with bunting like this. I've just used skewers and then color paper, cut them out in triangles and then you just gently pop them into your cupcake. Yeah, it's also, once again, something we're seeing all the time now, binding on cakes. And like Takeda said, if you don't want, well, you can have cupcakes as favors, but if you don't want a huge cake for your wedding, you can have little cupcakes and even personalize them with your initials on the binding. It's, yeah, lots of cute, yummy ideas. So how are those little um, pieces of paper being kept on the skewers? Is this string? Um, this is just a piece of thread that I've tied onto each end of the skewer. What I've done is I've cut out shapes of diamonds so that we can fold them over and then create this triangle. I've yeah. just stuck them down with ordinary print. Oh, I see. You know? Okay. Um, and then, yeah, they're basically on a piece of thread. It's simple, Beautiful. simple ideas.